fasting for non-fasters. Sardine fasting? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Come on now. Ugh. Well, let's have a look at this screen here. This is a calorie calculator. Let me plug my figures in here. I am not 25. Whoa, I remember that. I am 65. And um, yes, I'm 180 centimeters. Yeah, that's, um, uh, let me see, 180 centimeters. My uh, weight ideally would be about 84 kilograms. And um, let me see, how much exercise do I do? I am very active. There you go. Let's find out what my calorie requirements would be here. Calculate. Hmm. So to maintain weight, 2,838 calories per day. And for a weight loss, 2338. An extreme weight loss, 1,838 calories. 1,838 calories. Well, that is very interesting. Hello, everyone. My name is Al Person. You can contact me at pastor at mascot.church or in the comments below if you like. This is an interesting discussion about an interesting discovery and an interesting experiment. So I just shared with you my figures and uh, a different type of fasting is something we're going to talk about today. I have uh, been someone who, fa I am someone who fasts regularly, usually two or three days, sometimes four. What does that mean? Well, the only two liquid, the only things I consume are black coffee and water. I don't consume any food or anything in that period of time. I've done it many times. I'm used to it. I can do it. It's always difficult and it's always a challenge. And we've talked about that in the past. Now, um, but I've, and I've helped, I've said to other people, you know, if you can learn to fast, this will make a big difference. I can honestly say that if you can learn to fast, you will drop weight faster than almost anything else. It's like you're walking down the street and, and dropping weight. Your blood pressure will drop, your blood sugar will normalize, your blood salt will, you know, all that normalizes. But a lot of people can't get the start and it's tough to do. So I was, I saw something that came up in my feed the other day from Dr. Annette Bosworth, and I'll put her YouTube below, where she talked about a different type of fasting. And she talked about a sardine fast, where the only thing that you would consume would be tins of sardine. It's sardines. And when you get hungry, you don't, you have a, have a tin of sardines. And um, when, uh, and she said that will take the edge off your hunger. And a little while later, you have another one and so on. And I thought, well, I'm going to try this, number one, for myself, and number two, to see maybe this is something I can do to encourage friends of mine who would like the health benefits of fasting, but just can't get started. And so here's a little bit of a testimonial. First of all, that you see that calorie uh, list? Now, this is assuming that your calories are reasonable. You can get 1,000, um, let me say, it's saying maintain weight 2,838 calories. That's a lot. I could do that in chocolate and get sick and lose weight because there's not enough overall nutrients in chocolate. So it's not just pure calories. You can do it in white sugar as well and just kill yourself. <laughs> so, you know, um, so you're really talking about having a rounded number of nutrients. Sardines, on the other hand, are um, uh, extremely nutritious. And so that's really interesting. Now, in this little tin of sardines is about 133 calories. That's it. That's, um, well, it depends, 130. So let's round it up to 150. Now, what that means is, on the days that I was fasting, which is the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, each day I had only four of these tins. So this is the Friday of the week. So if you, if we just make it 150, so that is uh, 400, that's 600 calories a day, basically, in each case. So I'm like way low. So what was that to do? How was that to do? That was, what was it like doing that? I would have to say it was very, very easy. The only challenge was that it's a little bit boring uh, just eating sardines, and some people can't quite stomach the taste. One thing we need to learn is that it is, it is the taste of things that got us where we are. There are things that say, well, I just love, you know, I don't know, chocolate cheese. I love cherry chocolate cheesecake. I love that stuff. I'm, I'm a, I've got a sweet tooth. But I know this is just pure poison for me. It's the same as, um, as gooey, sticky food that's, that's just um, highly processed, like your lasagnas and your pastas. I love that food. I would just eat it all day long, but it's very bad for me, and it, just like it is for most of us. Same as fruits and vegetables. We shouldn't probably be eating fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds at all. I like all of them, but they're not really healthy. And so um, 
it's another topic altogether. Now, I do like the taste of sardines, I'd have to say. But truthfully, for that to be all I'd eat, I don't know. Anyways, I went and I did that. And I, um, I felt that little bit peckish on the uh, Tuesday morning. And I was at um, one of my work sites and I just had a tin of sardines. And that was like fine until uh, 12. And then I had another one, remembering that this is, there's no carbs in this, by the way, either. And um, uh, mid-afternoon had one more and one more that night. Had four tins of sardines. Didn't really struggle with hunger. And that was the same thing on the following day. I might have had five. I think I had four on the following day. And at another site. Now, something began to happen that happens whenever you fast. And that is your body switches over and starts, uh, first of all, it loses the sugar that you're holding. And so you lose, you're, you're visiting the, 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 you're losing water very, very rapidly. The next thing, of course, that happens when you burn fat is you also lose water. If you start fast weight loss, you're going to be visiting that little private place many times a day because the fat that you burn has a large amount of water in it. That's fine. Now, you find stories of people who have gone on um, like pure fasting and they're quite heavy and they almost never need to drink water because their, Bible, their, their body is hydrated by all the water that comes from the, uh, from the fat that's being processed, which is really fascinating. So on the, uh, on the first night, I slept pretty well, off to work um, on, on the second. On the second night, I was losing water and was up every like hour. I had a really bad sleep, though I thought I had a good one. So I was just exhausted that day. And now that pretty much stopped on the next day. Um, I definitely know that I'm leaner. It's only been three days, and I'm going to be eating regular food again today. So that's really, really fascinating. Now, what, is the, what are the reasons, the benefits, just capping this off? First of all, this particular product, sardines, are very high in omega-3s on the particular condition, uh, diet that I was on that fasts for three days, or maybe more, I'm not sure, but I might do it again next week, who knows. I consumed no carbs, no omega-6s like you find in those nasty seed oils, and uh, very, very, and, and very, very little, and no processed food at all. Now, there are different types of sardines that you can get. You don't want the ones with, um, that are in a tomato, pay, tomato paste, tomato, tomato, because, of course, there's too much sugar in them, and um, that might throw you off your fast. You want the pure sardines, and you also don't want the ones in oil because there's a lot of excess energy in the oil, but also you want to be sure that if they're in oil, they're in a high-quality olive oil. And I just don't trust any tinned oils at all. I don't think it's necessary. And so what do you want? Well, you want these that are in brine. This is one that comes from Poland, which is quite nice. This is um, uh, John West from here in Australia. You can get them anywhere in the world. Now, people think about things like um, uh, the toxins in, in uh, fish and so on. Uh, Dr. Bosworth does talk about that in her videos. And I'll put one, maybe a couple more down below. You can go there and find out. But she says, ultimately, the fish with the highest levels of toxins are the biggest fish because they eat the medium fish the small fish and so on, and that accumulates upward. But even then, it might be a bit of a ruse. It might not be such a problem. But certainly small fish don't have that issue in the same way at all. So think about that. Think about the sardine fast as, hey, this just might be a way I can get into the fasted lifestyle. I think probably for many of us, I need a, I need a sip of coffee. Black, black. I think for many people, this might be an easy way to get the benefits of fasting without the problem. Now, one thing I did notice is that on a third or fourth day of a fast, when I exercise, I tend to get some, I tend to be a bit uncomfortable. And it's like, no, I don't know if this is the right thing. Well, this isn't a problem when you're on the sardine fast because you are getting all the nutrients that you need. So this is really, really interesting. And again, this is also, there's a plus. In my other fasting videos, I've said, there are people who shouldn't fast. Uh, you know, pregnant women or this or that because of the energy levels. I don't think that list is as significant or severe when you're on a sardine fast. Now you say, what about other fish? Could you do that? Yes, you could do it with tuna or so on and so forth. The advantage of the sardine is it's almost the entire fish. It's the, um, and of course it being smaller and so on, and the high levels of omega-3s. Worth thinking about? Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy this video. It's just one of those um, wonderful serendipitous discoveries today that might bless you. So let me see if I get back to this slide here. As I close again, my name is Al Persson. I would love to hear your comments on this most interesting of topics.